Then they quoted from scripture. They were not just speaking anyhow. They quoted scripture. When, when they were talking of uh, uh, the Lord, you are God who made the, uh, the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that, that, they were quoting Psalm 24 verse 1. Making it clear that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And in, in, uh, in um, verse 25 and 26, they were quoting from Psalm, uh, Psalm 2. Why do the nations rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The, the kings of the earth, they, 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 they quoted the scripture to God. Let me tell you something about quoting scripture to God. The basis of your praying, whether it is private or corporate, must be scripture-based, must be scripture-backed. To be praying outside of scripture is a fallacy. You are just wasting your time. If you are a lawyer, you don't go to court and you are quoting something that is that has no basis in law nobody's going to listen to you you may be the most eloquent person but you are not quoting from the law there was an incident that uh, happened in the united states i think some one or two years ago i think it was two years ago or two or three years ago a man was drowning and there were these teenagers around instead of them to help the man they brought out their phones and began to film the man drowning and this man was struggling for breath until a passerby saw him and dived into the water to rescue the man. People were, were, were angry. People were, were, were upset that what is going on there, that this boy is there to be prosecuted. The attorney general of the state where it happened said, but we don't have a law with, under which these people can be tried. Yes, they've done something wrong, but there's no law under which we can charge them. He said, unless we go to Congress, that is their state Congress, and ask them to make a law. But even at that, they cannot apply the law retroactively. It would just be for any other person who, goes, who, who runs foul of that law in future. So you don't go to God and be making statements that have no basis in scripture and expect God to take you seriously. He's not going to take you seriously. This is one of the reasons why we study the Bible, where we read the Bible. Because we want to know what God is saying. We want to have an understanding of what God is saying in any circumstance so that we can take that same scripture back to God. You cannot be praying in thin air without having a basis in scripture for your prayer. Your prayer, like I said, must be word-based and must be word-backed. You're talking of, you're, you're bringing up the word, you're backing up with the word. The Bible says that at the, at, at, at the, at, at the mouth of two witnesses, two or three witnesses, let every, let every word be established. Your prayer is established on the strength of scripture, matching scripture. 